Jason Rona out here at the Tavares Skate Park. We got AJ Marasco, Fred Reap. We're here with the three by three challenge here today. We all have the Traxxas Stampede. Uh, we've equipped them three different ways. We're gonna perform on three different types of surfaces or track conditions, however you wanna uh, put it. But today we're here at the skate park. Uh, I have my personal uh, Traxxas Stampede set up with the Rangers tires, Midwest wheels, and the 1993 Ford F-150 body. And uh, what we want to see here today is if there's any performance advantages or any type of benefit to using one combination over another. And that's why we're going to go to multiple conditions to see, you know, how it stacks up, what you want to use, and what's better for you as the customer. AJ here, he's got a different little setup here on his Traxxas Stampede. AJ, what do we got here on your vehicle? First, we have the uh, Jake Onsip's choppers on the Rolex wheels along with the 89. Uh, Ford F-250. So his truck's very similar to mine. He's got a different year model body, but he's gone with the, the much bigger, uh, you know, more race style tire with the choppers. It's just sort of a, it's just more burly type tread. And uh, we expect that to be an advantage. Maybe not necessarily here on the skate park, but when we get out, maybe bashing or maybe in the dirt. And then we got Fred Reap here. He's the freestyle master typically uh, with the slash 4x4 conversion. But Fred, uh, you got another Traxxas Stampede here equipped a different way. Tell us how you got this thing hooked up. Yeah, we're here. We're using the 1951 Ford F1 panel van and the uh, Fling King tires, the Dragon wheels, and the Tracker, our brand new Tracker caps looking really sexy on this thing. And then uh, we'll see how this little truck can uh, throw it down. Yeah, so like we said, we got three of the same type of trucks, Traxxas Stampede, equipped three different ways. We're gonna give it a shot on three different types of surfaces. We're here today at the skate park. We're gonna move around and uh, try these trucks out and see who's got the uh, better truck here in all these types of conditions. Here today we wanted to hit like a typical racetrack type situation just to kind of see how they all compared with the different types of tires. Uh, you know we talked how my truck is uh, equipped here with the Rangers, we got AJ with the choppers and we got Fred here with the Fling Kings and uh, I was really happy with the way my truck actually worked on this track. Uh, with the, the Rangers tires it really had this flat uh, tread pattern that really gripped the dirt really well. The compound was kind of hard and uh, grippy. The, uh, the truck itself reacted really well in the turns and felt a little racy out there. And I, I really like the way that this tire worked and the way this track is prepped as sort of a race track, it really um, actually kind of lends itself to this tire uh, in this condition just because of the conditions are really high bite. So this track, uh, you know, really kind of acts like more of a traditional high traction off-road racing track. But even with the Stampede, you could feel that uh, with the Rangers tires and, and AJ, uh, you ran your truck here. Uh, we've been equipping your truck with the choppers tires and, and uh, you know, just watching, they looked pretty good also. Yeah, they had a typical pin tire, has a lot of grip, a lot of side grip. You can tell, definitely coming down the straightaway, the car has a slight push due to the pins having a lot more grip. Getting on power, you can, the truck t tries to do a little wheelie just from the forward bites got from the pin tires folding. Yeah, I mean, yours are a little different because you have a very uh, kind of a bubbly carcass. You have a real squishy sidewall. You got big, those big choppers pins really dig in. You know, we got a little carpet section here where you can wheelie uh, really well. Plus, this is the larger wheel setup, uh, can, you know, compared to my truck. You got the much larger wheels and uh, stuff that we can, uh, we've moved around on the different type of Traxxas vehicles, right? Yep. So when you're running the truck, you got the choppers on there. What's the feeling like? You know, driving through the turns, the transition from you know side bite to forward bite with the pins. You think it's got going in the corner, like I said before. It's got a lot of little bit of push, so you kind of have to like kind of 
back off the throttle a little bit, but the truck has a ton of forward bite and a ton of side bite. Side bite. So we got Fred here. Uh, Fred's got his truck equipped, you know, with the uh, 51 panel uh, truck body. We got the Fling King tires. I mean, I would consider this probably the, the truck that's equipped the least uh, well in terms of being set up for a racetrack. But, yeah, you could say that. But, but, in, ter but in reality, the, the truck was pretty good on this track. Yeah, the truck was really good. You know, the tire is a purpose-built tire, basically for going through the mud. I mean, this vehicle here has tons of forward traction. Yeah. I mean, the, the check mark design of the tread, that's what it was designed for, that's what it does. So off the line, you know, if you're a little heavy on the throttle, which wants a wheelie around there, going around a turn, you know, it gets a little skittish. You see a lot of the traction, a lot of the rotation in the chassis, uh, you know, until you get it out of the turn that settles down. But yeah, it actually worked pretty good. I was actually highly impressed. You know, it's a bit taller tire. It doesn't have quite the uh, traction patch that you have on yours. It's, a bit, it's probably double the width on it. But uh, yeah, all in all, a good tire. Yeah, I mean, I think the other thing that I noticed is having this kind of rounded style body. You know, when the truck flips, it kind of does one of those barrel rolls. Right. It does that easier than the truck bodies. Yeah, you know, on a truck, you land it and it'll just stay flat. But here, you know, I kind of use this body a lot in freestyle and tricks and stuff. And it's great, you know, if you go and you have a forward roll and you can carry the momentum, you know, the truck will want to roll over on itself, which is pretty cool. Yeah, you matched it up here. You got the tracker wheel caps on here in red, which we kind of went with our paint job. And yeah. just explain a little bit why you went with the, the caps and, you know, kind of how that's equipped. Yeah, it was a new product that we had just came out with and, uh, you know, kind of off of our bog hog type project. But, yeah, I just wanted to uh, finish off the look. Not really necessarily needed here for the racetrack, yeah. but it makes it really look cool. All right, so here, the three by three challenge, you know, this is something that we're working on. Uh, we got the skate park, we got the racetrack, we're gonna do a little bashing and really see how these tires measure up against each other. Uh, so far, I feel like, you know, this tires worked pretty well in the skate park conditions, but also the track, you know, due to this track being really high grip, uh, I believe AJ, if we would have went out in the little thicker dirt, I think the choppers would start standing out. And then I think really that's where Fred's are gonna stand out is when we get in that much looser, loamy dirt. And, uh, and then I'm gonna start struggling a little bit. But I think that's the idea here uh, with the three by three challenge is to see how this thing kind of stacks up, how you can equip your tracks to stampede and really get the most out of it, depending on what you're gonna do. out here with the conclusion to the 3 by 3 challenge. Uh, we got AJ Marasco, we got Fred Reap. Uh, we've been taking a little bit of a tour around different types of conditions and surfaces and uh, really testing out these Traxxas uh, Stampede vehicles equipped differently. And uh, we'll talk to AJ first. AJ, you had the uh, Stampede equipped here with the choppers tires. Um, what was it like out there uh, in our bashing uh, circuit today with the uh, with the choppers. Uh, they had a lot of grip actually. Um, car would kind of do some wheelies here and there. Uh, you could tell it had a lot of grip because it pushed on the steering. So the rear end was gripping a lot, a lot of side grip, forward grip, just with the big lugs just digging into the dirt. So yeah, I mean we did a couple punch off tests out there in the dirt. I mean it was really kind of a fun thing to do because it's not something you do all the time where you just go out and try to see what these different tires do in different conditions, which is the whole purpose of this. And uh, with the choppers, I mean, we did the punch off and it really tracked straight. It really got out of the hole really nice and uh, really kind of kept the truck uh, under control, right? Yeah, it kind of, you can tell uh, it bogged the motor down a little bit just from having a lot of grip, so. Yeah, and then Fred, uh, you've been equipped here the whole time uh, on our panel truck with the Fling King tires, which is a little bit different uh, than how AJ and I are equipped, but right. uh, you fared pretty well out there today, huh? Yeah, not too bad. I mean, the checkmark Fling King tires, you know, they're doing their job. 
you know they got tons and tons of forward traction on these things really built for mud racing and like a four-wheel drive type of vehicle where this one here would just want to basically wheelie out of the hole but as you can see from the video i mean it was flinging the sand here there and everywhere but uh yeah real awesome tire really fun for these things you know if you want to go out there and bash a great all-around tire you know and i i kept my truck of course equipped with the rangers tires and what I really liked about these, or I was surprised about, was uh, the variety of surfaces that they worked well on. I mean, we went from, you know, being out, um, you know, on the actual racetrack, we were in the skate park, and I was really thinking the skate park is where these were going to excel, and then as we got more into the dirt, uh, the choppers and the fling kings were going to start to take over, but I was really surprised even with these in the dirt conditions that uh, they, they provided plenty of bite. Uh, in the loose dirt it was a little bit wet out there in some areas where the sand had really come up and then there was other areas where it was really sandy you know climbing up the hills and and uh, these really provided a lot more grip than i really thought they would in that condition so really as an all-round performer i really felt these were really really good and uh you know kind of topped off with the uh 93 f-150 body here i felt that this truck was a really good performer in the skate park on the track and you know of course out there in the bash and in the dunes at claremont but uh you know aj with the choppers he had his equipped it was a 2.8 inch wheel so it's a little bigger wheel and uh you know i felt that truck really excelled when we got to you know the real dirt conditions out there and then fred with the fling kings you know i really felt like he said you know the truck wanted to wheelie this thing had tons of forward acceleration wasn't as easy to drive in you know smooth turns because of the large lugs and the little narrower uh, you know stance of the truck with this uh, tire and wheel but overall I thought it was a pretty nice little test you can check it out for yourself here and uh, see what really works for you and what conditions you think is gonna uh, work well for you and uh, choose a selection here with J Concepts we got the body, wheels, tires covered.